Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing top 10 most feminine and elegant perfumes in my perfume collection. We have in here some designer perfumes, we have some designers private collections and we also have some niche but most of them are going to be designers. Um, these perfumes I just feel like are super feminine, they are super elegant, um, you can wear them daytime, nighttime, um, it's nothing too much, it's nothing too sweet, it's nothing too dark, they are just perfect if you want to um, be elegant and to smell extremely feminine. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. The first scent that we have in here, it's actually a perfume that not that many people like, but I absolutely adore. I absolutely love this scent, okay? This one is Hymnos from Lancôme. Uh, this perfume came in 2005, which is like a long time ago, but I absolutely love this scent. <sighs> it's this beautiful vanilla, slightly powdery, creamy, and it has on top, it has some uh, passion flower. I don't know how passion flower smells like, okay? But for me, is this lemony floral scent. This is what I'm getting. Lemony floral scent with lots of creamy, not rich vanilla, creamy, powdery vanilla. I absolutely love this one. I think it's, uh, it's so feminine. It's so gorgeous. Uh, some people are saying that this one smells dated or it smells like soap. For me, it's not soapy at all. It's a very good one. I really, really enjoy this perfume. As you can see, like I really enjoy this perfume. Um, yeah, Hymnos from Lancôme. Next we have, next one we have from Burberry, Burberry Brit. This one is a cheapie. This perfume has, I believe, some lime in the opening and maybe some something fruity, maybe pear or something like that. And, and then it has this almond. I will not say it's not the most almondy scent, okay? It kind of smells like a vanilla that has a hint of almond and then you have on top um, that lime. It has some flour in this. I think it's peony. I ah, don't know. It smells very, very feminine, okay? Very elegant. It's not a good one. It's not necessarily um, that almond that you, you would expect. Yeah, the opening is bright it's citrusy from the lime you can definitely smell that and then you're getting this like powdery vanillic almondy with some florals in there i really like it i think it's like super safe to wear um every day um super elegant i really really enjoy this perfume and it's very affordable again burberry breed from burberry obviously then we have a perfume that's all the time in, a, in my top feminine elegant perfumes. Signorina Eleganza from Salvatore Ferragamo. This perfume... This perfume has some patchouli, has some leather. You don't have to be scared of that, okay? I feel like this one has some pear and it has osmanthus. Uh, that note, it can go either peachy apricot or it can go leathery. For me this smells like this soft floral perfume with some fizzy peach on top and that Osmanthus has a leathery um, touch. Obviously it has leather but it's, it doesn't smell like dark leather. It smells like the most the softest leather like you, you would ever find. Yeah, it smells like very, very soft leather, more like an inside of a leather bag with some, with this floral, this floral um, pear, fizzy pear. This is what I'm getting. I know it's, it sounds very confusing, but it's very elegant. Like it's, it's extremely elegant. It's not very sweet. It is slightly sweet, but it's not very sweet. Um, but it's very, very elegant. It smells like you are really put together. I really enjoy this scent. Bottle is beautiful. Again, it's not expensive. It's, I don't know, the 100 ml, I think it's around 25 pounds. Um, beautiful scent. Doesn't really last, but it's a very beautiful scent. Signorina Eleganza from Salvatore Ferragamo. Next one, we have Elisab Le Parfum. Orange Blossom, 
very elegant orange blossom with some honey and some patchouli. I absolutely adore this scent. It's so beautiful. It's so, it smells like you have money, you know, like you, you are rich. It, this is what I'm getting. Oh, I love it. I just love it. It's like you're put together and you have um, lots of money and yeah, it's just... It's just beautiful. Uh, good lasting power, good sillage. The patchouli is not a dirty one. The honey is not too strong. The orange blossom for me is not super mature. Sometimes orange blossom can go very mature. Um, it's not the case. I feel like um, all of the notes in this perfume are perfectly balanced and the scent is absolutely gorgeous. Elisab Le Parfum. And the next one we have Mon Guerla from Guerla. Just the original. This is this stunning vanilla with lavender it's sweet but not too sweet it's also cold in the same time slightly slightly powdery i just adore this scent it's so beautiful it's so feminine so everything um if you never tested mongerla what are you waiting for the original and the intense are the best from the entire line in my opinion they are different okay and um, the intense is really intense but for every day all year round Mongerla, just the original, is absolutely perfect. Uh, yeah, Mongerla from Gerla. Next, we have some private collections. We have Dior, Gris Dior. Gris Dior is this watery, rose, slightly powdery, that just smells very good. It just smells extremely good. It smells like your clothes are smelling good. It smells like, I don't know a fancy department store i would say like this is how you imagine i don't know louis vuitton to smell like the store inside it smells so good the rose is not too rosy it's not a mature rose it's just a slightly powdery rose but very watery in the same time all year round perfect um decent lasting power decent projection i really 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 like this one Gris Dior from christian dior then we have another private collection from Van Cleef and Alpers. We have California Reverie. This is oh, this elegant summery scent. It has some frangipani and some jasmine. Obviously, it has other notes, but this is what I'm getting with this perfume. I'm getting just frangipani, the most tropical, exotic frangipani with some jasmine, but it's not um, tropical as in fruity tropical or sand and lotion no 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 it's something different it's extremely elegant extremely feminine especially for the summertime when you know in the summer and um, things can be maybe a little bit too sweet or too aquatic or too like fresh this is stunning Van Cleef & Arpels California Reverie and now let's move on to some niche we have in here Roja SS to Parfa 51 I purchased this perfume. It was love at first sniff. Okay. Oh, this is, let me spray it here. Oh my God. I love this one. This is this super sweet Ylang Ylang that is also powdery in the same time. It has a billion notes. Okay. This is what I'm getting. This super sweet, almost, not, almost fruity in a way. Almost, almost fruity Ylang Ylang. And also it's powdery. But it's sweet, it's also creamy, it's nothing scratchy. With the lung, I do like it in uh, some perfumes and I do really don't like it in other perfumes. I really love it in this and in Ylang in Gold. But I feel like Ylang in Gold is more like your summertime perfume. You can definitely wear that one in the spring, but this is more all year round. All year round so that's why it's in this um, list. Oh, it's so beautiful. If you really like Ylang, or you don't, you don't necessarily have to really like Ylang. Um, if you want something sweet, floral, slightly powdery, and just super feminine, and I don't know, amazing. It's an amazing scent. It's an amazing scent. I had to purchase it. Um, yeah, it's just stunning. Check this one out, okay? Check this one out. Um, it's stunning. Fifty one essence to parfum from Roja. Next, two more. We have. Dama Bianca from Zerzhov. Dama Bianca is not your typical Zerzhov because when I think at Zerzhov, I think at either very gourmand things or very spicy things. This is not that. This is, this again, powdery. Where should I spray it? Let's just spray it here. Powdery, 
oh, sweet, creamy vanilla, and it has some kumquat. I've never smelled that fruit. Okay, I have no idea how it smells. Well, I know now from the perfume because it definitely has this fruity note that I've never smelled before, so it definitely that's the kumquat. But the vanilla, it's so powdery, it's so creamy and sweet in the same time. It's so beautiful. It's not a beast mode. Normally, Zerzhov has like better projection. Um, but yet, it's such a delicate perfume. It smells like someone commented on Fragrantica. Someone was saying that this one smells like Snow White. I can agree with that. Like, I can definitely agree with that. The name is perfect. The bottle is perfect. Dama Bianca. Um, perfect. Perfect name like White Lady. Perfect a name perfect bottle i love it I absolutely love it it's it's beautiful it's not zerzhov okay uh, type of scent like i said so don't expect wow don't expect something dark or something in your face or something different it's different but in a very subtle elegant feminine way dama bianca from zerzhov and the last perfume that we have in here is gentle fluidy gold from mezzo francis courtijan Oh my god, I adore this. <sighs> this perfume has a little bit of the DNA of Intense Cafe, okay? But it's done in such a refined way and so it's so sophisticated. It's absolutely stunning. You can definitely smell the differences. Like Intense Cafe is super dark, it's intense. You can smell the rose, you can smell the vanilla, the coffee. This has that. DNA, but they made it way, way, way lighter and super refined and super luxurious. Like, oh, this smells like you are so, like, so expensive. You are so rich. You are so bougie. Like, oh, it smells divine. This one smells like a CEO. This smells like, it smells divine. I love this thing. Um, yeah, you can wear it all year round, maybe not summertime, but spring, fall, winter, it's just amazing. It has very good lasting power and very good projection. So our last scent is Gentle 3D Gold from Maison Francis Courtijan. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below what perfumes you have in your collection that are very elegant and very feminine and you just enjoy wearing them. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm going to see you in my next one. Bye-bye.